Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we've Kiko starting as the Red Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we've React starting as the Teal Protoss. This is going to be on Butter. And we are in game three of BSL Season 14 Hasu League semifinal to see who goes on to the grand final. Currently, we are tied up at one game apiece. And now I fear for Kiko because game one, it was razor thin. Game two, React won convincingly. I really feel like he did everything he needed to to really control that match. Fantastic play, top to bottom. The positional play in particular, very impressive. So I'm wondering if Kiko is going to have different thoughts on this map. One thing I'm hoping to see out of him is one of his maybe two or maybe more aggressive play here early because on butter the more pressure you can apply to your opponent in the mid game the more it opens up additional bases to the exterior however react with that dt drop last match i don't know one thing i have not seen from react up to this stage is really really aggressive reaver play and i almost feel like that's a safe bet is going one gate reaver opener Looks like we see a barracks to the forward position, potentially to create a bit of a blockade here. No shenanigans from React as of yet. Is moving up that probe scout after gateway. We do have that assimilator plopped down. So everything looking very standard. Refinery dropping as well. I do want to give a shout out to both of these guys. Kiko in particular, you'll see him play quite often in STPL and the Brood War Clan League. And if you guys are fans of the old school pro league matches basically that revolution veer casts the brood War clan league pretty often you also have uh quicks who's doing the stpl i believe he sponsors that league entirely as well and actually has the really fun in between game cinematics probe doing a little bit of damage it looks like we have an scv scout moving across the board as well cybernetic score warping in and supply depot kind of a that's an odd place for that supply depot along that back edge maybe to deal with salts right there on the front but i'm wondering how much that's going to end up being a detrimental clog as the games progress this probe wow the aggression i don't know if probes bite or what's happening with the the shock that comes out of their mouth but you could just see that dive forward there really wanted to really wanted to attack that scv being very aggressive first dragoon being produced range being shown by react SCV scooting around, looks like, so we're not going to see a range skip. Probe exiting the base at this stage, two Marines hanging out nearby. No movement for an SCV to go ahead and plop a bunker on the front as of yet. SCV's going to go ahead and back out towards the third. Is Kiko going to go for a proxy factory here? Curious, because he's, this SCV is very suspicious. In that bottom left-hand corner, we do have a Dragoon starting to scooch out. And React, actually... This is next-level psychic play, actually, moving up. Although, a bit of yakety sacks here. The Dragoon finding the SCV, with the SCV scooting by before it even takes a shot. He's gonna scoot right back around, move in, and he's gonna be able to confirm that there's, as of yet, no second gateway. Instead, there's being... A larger number of uh, Dragoons being produced. Probe making its way back out. Looks like that bunker is going to be up in plenty of time. First Vulture sneak out across that right. And that SCV, what a hero. Still alive. As he gets scorched there, but managed to hang out for a decent amount of time. React going one gate into expand here. But Kiko able to get that expansion up. A little bit more rapidly. Machine shot plopping down in the background. I'm wondering if we're going to see a skip of Seas check and immediate vulture upgrades. Barracks moving out to go ahead and help seal that front. Three Dragoons are making their way towards the front to potentially harass. And this vulture, in the meantime, sneaking by, confirming the Nexus. But also, with this timing, Kiko looks like he might be able to get a handful of kills. Mines are upgrading as well. Needs to pull SCV off the line to go ahead and help defend this. But, wow, a great surround by React. That was huge. That was too rapid for me to even catch. 
avoiding complete disaster there with an instant surround of that vulture and that should have been a mat that's got to be frustrating for kiko that should have been a massive amount of probe deaths and instead the probes are feisty for react three gate robotics facility observatory very safe standard build dragoons continuing to pound away at that front still no siege tank as of yet two vultures looking on the wings the marines actually unloading so Kiko actually wanting to clear this and actually might end up paying for it because now you got four dragoons on the front very few marines the mines are being planted this is turning into a disastrous opening for Kiko he's got one mine left with this vulture still no siege tanks oh able to at least get some damage there but honestly if react just ignores all of this and continues to attack that's an empty bunker Kiko's bluffing at this stage three pylons are blockading a, a, honestly a dragoon or two at home base or even the reinforcements out of there might have been sufficient there could have been absolute havoc wreaked at the natural expansion but now Kiko low on siege tanks here in the mid game he is up on workers I gotta feel like reacts he's playing more defensively and more in a defensive posture but it's a bit frustrating because I don't know that he needs to I guess it comes down to micro versus mines two marines back in the bunker now second gas being plopped down second factory up speed for the vultures being upgraded armory also plopping down but Kiko just, yeah, not building a single siege tank. He might end up in a lot of trouble as soon as this first observer makes its way across the map. Let's see if he gets taken out by this turret. If it doesn't get taken out, I got to assume once it moves to the front and sees a complete lack of siege tanks, that React will opt to get aggressive. Mine being planted to that bottom right-hand corner to potentially blockade quick additional bases. But right now, Kiko's just relying on the fact that maybe he can skirt vultures by and be aggressive that way to keep him in this match. Double machine shop now for Kiko and a third factory being plopped down. He needs to get a lot of siege tanks more rapidly out on the front. And it doesn't look like... Let's see if React punishes him for it. Eight Dragoons, nine Dragoons, ten Dragoons starting to take the field. We do have the Citadel of Vadun in the background, Templar Archives warping in and a Stargate to get a move on towards Arbiter Tech, but it looks like React is opting to play more defensively. Going ahead and clearing out the Vultures. He's going to clear out that mine. Does clear out that mine. Vulture moving to the corner, but still, this is unbelievable. Zero siege tanks on the front for Kiko. Still nothing. He's just relying on the vultures being aggressive on the front to be defensive. Wow. Cannon being plopped down here. Another vulture able to sneak in. Maybe he's going to be able to plop down a mine. He put the three factories up. Three siege tanks here. Plus one weapons on the way. But right now, react 20 supply up. Even on workers, two additional gateways plopping down. He's got a quick jump on potential Arbiter tech, which will put him in a good position potentially in the mid game. But really, Kiko, I feel like he's getting away with murder here. Finally, five siege tanks are making their way out towards the natural expansion. Very negligent and even bothering to defend his front. Going to take out his own, own turret and replace it. Opening position up. React moving out to go ahead and grab his third base. Let's see if Kiko opts to get aggressive with these siege tanks to go ahead and maybe grab a third of his own. Vulture slipping through. Looks like it was able to suicide into the probe to slow that Nexus production down. And with this, Kiko going ahead and migrating up to take the high ground of the upper 3 o'clock, I guess I'll call it the 2 o'clock plateau. Dragoons and Zealots starting to filter forward to maybe challenge this as that fourth is being established. 
several SCVs taking the field to just get some clutter. It looks like SCV scouting, finding the Dragoons. Actually, this is sufficient enough attack force to jump on this. This several tanks unseaged the Zealot sweeping in from the south. And so this is very quickly going to get wiped out. There's only one siege tank to the north. Kiko now, now finally paying for the lack of troops. The Zealots marching into that back siege tank. Only two Marines now defending everything. And so yeah, finally Kiko being punished for having so few defenses and really overextended. And this is very much, it's usually not his MO. Usually overly cautious and react completely breaching the main and natural expansion. There's a quick game. Honestly, Kiko playing very off in that match. People commenting in chat as well. It almost feels like a broken replay, and I have to agree with that. But game three going to react. Now on the verge of a championship berth. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.